In today's video, we'll take a look at this house whose upper floor slab was built using beam and block technology. We'll discover just what goes on during the process of installation and see how quickly an upper floor slab can be built using beam and blocks. Watch this video to learn more about the process and if you're interested to build your next slab using the beam and block technology. Hi, I'm Nick Moema and let's discover the process. The process starts off by laying the pre-stressed beams. These are special beams that are pre-engineered at the factory that have steel tendons embedded inside. This allows the beams to have significantly more strength, enough to carry the weight of the slab. The beams are cut according to the dimensions of your house. That means the length is predetermined at the factory, allowing you to cut down on waste. The beams are laid across the shortest span of your slab. In other words, the beams are laid across the shortest span of a room. Supporting the beams are a set of timber supports. These are placed across the longest span of the room. The beams then lie on top of them perpendicularly. Because of the even spacing of the pre-stressed beams, you don't require as much timber supports as with the normal steel trapper style slabs. This allows you to save on timber supports needed to support the slab as it cures. As you can see, the beams are evenly spread out across the span. The spacing is 400 millimeters, which is the width that will allow the blocks to fit in between the beams. Next is stacking the blocks. As you can see, the hollow in design. The hollow sections reduce the weight of the blocks and also act as sound barriers. This helps to reduce noise from reaching the lower floor. The blocks are stacked one in front of the other and are tightly packed to ensure no gaps between them. They also have interlocking grooves that helps them fit perfectly within the beams. The good thing about these blocks is achieving a working surface as soon as they are placed. You get a feel of how the final slab will look like once the process is over. They also look neat and attractive because of their symmetry. Once the blocks and beams are laid, the BRC mesh is placed on top of them. 
This will act as the reinforcement needed during the pouring of concrete for the final slab. This is more economical when compared to steel rebars and it's an advantage of using beam and block technology. Finally, a 50 to 75 millimeter thick slab will be poured on top of the blocks and the BRC mesh to create the final floor level for the upper floor. One company that makes beam and blocks in Kenya is Beamtech Manufacturers. A single block costs 85 shillings per piece and a single pre-stressed beam costs 495 shillings per meter. If you're interested to contact the company, I've left their details in the description below this video. Also, if you'd like to contact the contractor who was in charge of this project, you'll find his contacts in the description as well. I've talked more about beam and block technology previously, which you can watch in the following video.